So this is Leonardo.ai and this is the the AI canvas. You can upload or load in an image and then you can paint around the edges, expand around the edges and also change things inside the image itself. So you do this by clicking on the upload image and then what I've done is I've selected from previous generations and this is an image I've generated. So it has a kind of 3D look. So I've just got a cleaning lady cleaning on the white fluffy carpet. So what I've started off with is I've selected the area where the face is, in that square, which you can move around. And then I've clicked on draw mask and then I've just selected using the kind of pink lines the area of the face. I'm just gonna expand it a bit around the head. Okay, so we select this bit here. And the next thing is um, what I did was I deselected the out paint which is used to extend the image. And then I've then modified the in paint strength so I don't want too much of a change, I just want a basic change of facial expressions. So I've selected 0.6. The next thing is the number of images so the AI can generate up to four different variations so you can select one two three or four you can also change the the model that you're using so i'm just going to stick to the same one and then we'll see what it comes up with and you can see how many credits you've got there so this is going to take x amount of credits which tells you here so this current generation will take four tokens or credits there are some other options, but I'm not really using those. So I'm just going to quickly click on generate after entering the prompt. So in this prompt, I've just put in really upset facial expression. So at the moment, she's just got a kind of like a smile on the face with big eyes. So we want to change that to being upset. So we're just going to click on generate and see what happens. So we've got four different variations and then we've got the arrow keys, cancel and accept. So we can toggle and view the other variations. The best one seems to be this one, where she's, I mean, it's kind of upset, but it's not perfect. And the other ones, um, they seem to deviate from the style of the art. So I'm gonna click on cancel. I'm going to modify the prompt. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the model because I think when I generated this um, AI image, I used the 3D animation style. So this might help to retain the, the style of the rest of the um, artwork. Uh, let's click on generate again. Hopefully now we'll get a a modification which is in a 3D style. So we just wait for it to generate the four different variations. Okay, so we've got one here which is not that great because it looks like she's been beaten up. This one looks kind of okay. This one's kind of like distraught. And again, this one's okay as well. So I think the best one was the second one. So we're going to click on accept. And then as you can see, the um, the modification has been applied. You can undo it by pressing the undo button. And then you'll see that the mask is still there. And then you can redo it. You can also move, one second, okay. 
Okay, just be careful when positioning this the selection because if you can see here it's gone outside the um, the image boundaries so you're gonna have to then edit that in your paint package later on so that's kind of worked so what we can we can do next is we can expand outside the image so we're gonna click on out paint and then we'll increase the size of the image dimensions so as you can see the square has now increased I think there is an option to make it smaller as well so you can you can change the size in pixels by dragging the slider at the bottom you can use the pan to move the image around and then the select to select and move this selection box so uh, all the kind of modifications will will be done within the boundaries of this selection box so what we're trying to do now is we're trying to expand the image towards this side here so we're gonna change the prompt and we can add something like living room with nice big TV and coffee table and then we can click on generate So on this one it's not really done done a good job not in my view because it looks like it's just cut the image off and these two are not really that good anyway so i would press cancel see if you can change some settings and improve it so just make sure you've got no mask selected Just change the prompt to something simple like living room. And let's try and generate again. I mean really we just we want the we want the carpet to kind of extend down here. But because there's a line going down the image, the AI fixes this is a kind of a wall, so it's then so I'm, I'm assuming this is like a wall. That doesn't really look right. I mean that's kind of okay. So we've got this tool here called the erase tool which we can use to delete things from the image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the edge the edges from here and then try it hopefully it won't pick up any lines or edges and it will extend the room rather than creating a wall Now this is slightly better, so we've got an extension of the carpet and the window, it's added a window there, which is quite good. Let's we can have bay windows and keep the white fluffy carpet. So we just press generate again. Now that smiles better, so 
the carpet's been um, extended so the carpet looks like a rug on a laminate floor then you've got couch bay window uh, looks nice and smooth I mean that's probably the best one we've had that's also perfect I mean it's added a table windows and a couch that's also okay so you've got patio window and there we've just got a, a window so we um, by messing around with the settings a little bit um, using the erase tool to kind of delete edges from the painting from the artwork the original artwork and then kind of fine-tuning your prompts uh, you can get like generations which are better quality so it might be this one's the best one or oh, and then this one here so we can press accept on this one so that's our new image okay, so I'm going to move the, the selection tool back so the next thing you can do is you can actually add things into the image so if we click on change there we, we select in paint and out paint transform the details within it keeping the rest intact we can also draw things draw things and then the AI will use the drawing to create um, something better so let's use the sketch to image and I use the sketch tool here we can change the color to black and decrease the size okay so I'm going to do I'm just going to try draw like a stain an oil stain on the carpet So this is what the lady is cleaning. Uh, make sure the selection is there. I'm not really sure if you meant to put a mask over it, but I'm just going to try it without the mask. So you're going to click on oil stain. Oil stain in our, oh, on, our, on our white carpet. So hopefully where I've sketched there, it's going to replace that with an oil stain that looks realistic. So let's click on generate if it doesn't work I might have to go back to in painting or use a mask so this is currently using the sketch to image right so that's not really what I wanted that's not what I wanted all that yeah, so that's not really that good. Don't know what it's done there. It's meant to be an oil stain. Okay, so let's just undo that and go back to our in paint. Okay, now let's get the mask tool increase the mask size of the brush and let's just draw an oil an area here where the oil stain can go and let's try the generation again so I've gone back to the in painting I've deselected out paint just increase the in paint send for bit draw the mask on the carpet and then press generate Yeah, that's not done anything either. So I'm going to cancel that. So let's see if we can put black, a black oil stain on a white carpet. That's not really worked either. Yeah, I 
I need to figure out why that is. It could be because I haven't selected the original image. That doesn't really seem to work. So this is trying the sketch to image with a with a manual mask and a better prompt. That's kind of what I was looking for, but could be better. That's not what I was looking for. Looks nothing like an oil stain. Change the prompt, see if I can improve it. We almost got something which was what I was looking for. Yeah, I don't think it quite understands what I want. I mean, that looks nothing like an oil stain. So again, that's the closest. However, it's not very good. So a lot of the time you have to kind of change your prompts. Uh, you can even use ChatGPT to try and get different um, prompts which might actually be better. So if you tell ChatGPT what you want, uh, ChatGPT can then generate some prompts uh, which are better understood by the AI. Yeah, so I keep getting these kind of bowls. So this is better. We've got the only problem is the oil stains are just too kind of massive. This is probably the best one I've got so far. So what you can do now is you can download your artwork and it will save as a PNG. Okay, what we could use um, with this one is a negative prompt, but this doesn't allow you to put negative prompts in. So that is a problem. There's one more thing we can try which is um, by using a different model. We try absolute reality and then click on generate.
Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, you can gradually improve what um, what is drawing there to kind of get what you want. So like this one's a good one as well. So you can just download it. So this is the Leonardo.ai AI canvas which you can use to expand an image using AI and also in paint uh, within the actual artwork itself to change things like facial expressions and add things like new objects. Yeah, so this, this is a good one. I mean, it's not perfect. I would have expected oil and I used it to be a bit more brown. But you could you could work on that using your prompt and eventually you can get an artwork which you know which would have taken you longer to do by hand. I mean it's not always the case but I mean in this case I could have just manually drawn an oil stain which I like which could have done in a few seconds but this is okay. <laughs> 